Um, the argument really hinges upon what you were talking about in terms of the administration, the the artificial hierarchy that gets built um, within the educational system, and then um, just that uh, the conditioning that happens. Like I would call it grooming, right? Like the grooming to be and. We can get all nerdy on it and talk about how you know the U.S. education system is basically built off of you know Prussian factory workers, but um, the the grooming of turning little kids into essentially productive worker bees that are compliant, um, they know the the hierarchy and not to fight against it, right? Like this is the hierarchy. Do not break ranks. Do not think that you can you know raise hell or anything like that. Just kind of keep your head down and move forward. Um, and it kind of creates almost like a, I wouldn't call it a caste system, but it creates this extremely, uh, you know, uh, uh, kind of set um, structure for the future of those kids' lives. And most people are like, oh, well, they need that, right? Like, that's the foundation. That's how they become a productive member of society. And you're like, well, you understand that there's probably just as much, if not more, that's holding them back from them getting that education than... Uh, it's setting them up to be successful. Uh, I was actually just thinking about this before, and I don't know, like, it, this kind of, like, came to me like I'm just, you know, like throwing spaghetti against the wall. And I was like, I was wondering, all right, bad education versus no education, right? Like, I'm almost thinking that no education is better than a bad education. Or or maybe I have to rephrase that and kind of say, like, a education that's essentially just indoctrination, right? Like... Um, I, I would rather someone just kind of like be free to the wind and, and, you know, what, what's the phrase like the school of hard knocks than yeah. be part of this kind of like very top down oppressive system that's in place right now. Um, what you're talking about is natural, right? Uh, natural education meaning, right? Like I learned that when I drop something on my foot, it hurts, right? Like yeah. you have to do those sort of things, right? Like I learned that trees uh grow big leaves or like the sun comes up everywhere like these are things that we learn right because they're natural um and so that's inevitable that we're going to learn those types of things and i think if the, the more you take a person away from nature the less it becomes something that's objectively true and the more it becomes this is true because you told me this is true and so i just have to do that um and i think that's that, that's one thing that school does. One of the things that drives me nuts is when people say like, oh, the public schools or schools in general, if you don't send your kids to schools, they're going to be sheltered. Mm. Like, well, it's, if, if anything is the exact, like a school is literally a shelter. <laughs> that's what it is, right? Like it, the basic English word of a shelter is like a, a place that you go to, to like hide from other things. That's what a school does. It keeps kids away from nature and free from the adult world where they can be taken advantage of and all those other things. Like there's, there's reasons why someone might want to shelter children. I would want to shelter my kids. Every good adult should want to shelter their child and protect them from danger. Right? Like that's what you're supposed to do as an adult. And the idea that idea is somehow like it's bad to shelter your children and protect them is, is craziness. Secondly, the idea that a public school is somehow not a shelter is crazy, right? Like that, this does, it doesn't work like just basic English definition wise. Right. Um, so like you, you keep kids away from the school of experience, the school of encountering nature and encountering natural consequences for actions. And so all it becomes is, okay, in this class, I can't do that because Mrs. Whoever will punish me. Right. Like it's yeah. not the natural effect of if I drop this on my foot, it will hurt. Right. Like yeah. those natural consequences. It's completely should... freaking arbitrary. Correct. Yeah. And, and, and so those things are sometimes necessary. Like I don't want my kid to learn the lesson, not running to the road by getting smashed by a car. Right. So sure. I need to punish them. I need to provide that consequence that's artificial so that they don't have the natural consequence. Right. But sometimes like, yeah, your kid's got to touch a hot oven and be like, Oh crap, I'm not going to do that anymore. Right. Um, you never touch the hot oven twice. I mean, there, I, I remember touching a radiator when I was like four years old. So one of my earliest memories, like seared in my memory of like touching that hot radiator and just pain forever because right? at that age it was literally the worst pain I ever had in my life probably right yep. um like if i were to go touch a radiator on a it was on a lawnmower today it lawnmower off and had been for a couple hours i'm still like not gonna put my finger on, completely on it right i'm gonna like barely touch it just so i'm like it could be it could burn me right like yeah. you learn those lessons are ingrained in your mind you, every, same with electric right i did i got shocked by electricity so i check it all the time like i don't i, I gotta make sure it's off i gotta double check and even though i know it's off because i just checked I still am like very careful about, about it. Right. So you learn those types of things naturally and the school pulls you away from those natural consequences. And so everything becomes artificial and every, and, 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 and to follow that, right. Everything becomes just human 
human imposed, right? Like this is the way it is because this person decided, which makes it all about power, right? Which yeah. completely describes the what we're up against. Like that is the enemy, right? That's that's the Sauron eye of the tower, right? Like that idea that like we're gonna just like wield power and domination over other people. That's what the school exists to do, in my opinion, right? That's that's like the that's the sine qua non or whatever you want to call it, reason d'etre, right? Of the school is like to impose that type of domination and power on others. And they do it with the sense of, oh, this is for their own good. If they don't have this, then how are they going to make it in the world? And all that, da, 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 right? And we can get into all those types of things. But like, that's the thing that it does. It causes people to be, to, to just like give in to this type of power and just to accept it. This is the way the world is. These people have power. The way of the world is to get power over other people. And the more power you have over the people, the better you are. Da, 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 da. And that explains all of our politics. It explains all the way that people react to problems. Right? Oh, there's a problem in my city. What should I do? I know. I should go pa- talk to the person who has the ring and tell them that they should not punish me as much. Right? Instead of, <laughs> is there anything you can do to solve this? No, no, no. That's never an option. Right? I have to go vote harder or write a letter or do some other thing instead of like, oh, okay, there's a problem here. What do I do to solve this? 